One of my favorite pillars to talk about with, especially for athletes, is resilience. And mainly because every single one of us have already experienced some type of a tragedy or opposition or setback in our lives, and we're gonna to continue to face more and more. And of course, if you've been an athlete long enough, you have experienced some type of an injury or a life is not fair moment. And I think that understanding what resilience really is, is so important because it's what carries you through to the next trial that you're gonna face in your life. And it prepares you for the next obstacle while also giving you an opportunity to learn something that's gonna allow you to really help somebody else, to bless somebody else and really could change somebody else's life. Uh, when I was playing basketball at the University of Utah, I was in the best shape of my life. Obviously, we were running sprints all day long and that's what it felt like. And after my freshman year, I tore my ACL for the first time. Um, going into my sophomore year, I re-tore my ACL. And several years later, I've had 14 knee surgeries. But when you experience those injuries at a young age for something you've worked really hard for, you're just not quite sure what that means for your future, everything that you've pictured in your mind about your career has changed or could change, and what are you gonna do with that resilient, that moment that requires some resiliency? Resiliency is often defined as coming back from some type of a setback or how you handle a setback or an obstacle put in your path. And I really like to look at it as an opportunity to spring forward when an obstacle or challenge or trial is put in your life. When I was injured for the first time, my coach was awesome. She wanted me to travel, sit right behind the bench. And in that moment, I became a student of the game. And there wasn't one thing that she told an athlete that I didn't hear. And that was really a huge catalyst into me just becoming a coach on the floor and understanding the game at a whole different level. That was an opportunity for me to learn the game from a totally different perspective. When you're out there as an athlete, you don't want to make mistakes, you want to do everything right, and you're being told constantly from all these different directions everything you're doing wrong. You're really self-absorbed even if you don't want to be. But when you get injured, you have an opportunity to change perspective. You can hear things that you wouldn't normally hear. And because of that experience, I became a better player and was able to, to go on and play finish my college career, play professionally, but I could become a coach. And it was in those moments that I remember as a coach thinking, I understand what these players are going through. I had two players that had three ACLs or more throughout their career, and guess what? I knew how to talk to them. I knew what they were going through. And that was the best part about my experience, is not only the growth that I experienced, but remember that resilience and trial and going through all of that isn't just for you. It's for what you can do for other people because of it.